In this short video, I'm going to explain to you how to install an Actifio Sky VM on a VMware server. Now, before you begin, you should review the installation PDF that can be downloaded from Actifio now if you have access or supplied by an Actifio representative. You should also review the Actifio Sky specification sheet to ensure you're operating with the latest specification numbers. In this example, I'm going to be deploying a Sky VM with a 5 terabyte dedupe pool. Now, this is significant because it determines the number of cores I'll need, CPUs, the amount of RAM I'll need. Now, the amount of disk I need is also documented here. Once I've determined all of these things, I'm ready to begin my deploy. So what I'll need, obviously, is an OVA. Having downloaded the OVA, I'm now ready to deploy the OVF template. Choose my OVA. In this case, I'm deploying Sky 801. Uh, it will use 130 GB of, uh, of disk space immediately for the boot drive. Give the Sky a name. I'm just going to leave that as default. Choose a ESX server. Now, if you read the documentation, you'll see that we recommend that all disks on Sky be thick provisioned Eager Zero. In this example, I'm going to break my own rule and use thin provisioning only because I'm used to doing this as a demonstration in the lab. If this is a production VM, please use thick provisioned Eager Zero. Add your IP addresses. And once you've added your IP addresses, hit next and, and hit finish to deploy the OVF. Now, once the OVF has deployed, uh, we'll kick on and take on the next step. Okay, so my Sky has uh, deployed. So now what I need to do is edit it. Now, you shouldn't have powered it on. The reason being that you need to edit the settings, modify the memory and CPU to suit the size of your DDoP pool, and also add three hard drives. Now, in this case, if you remember, I'm doing a five terabyte DDoP pool, so I only need 10 GB of RAM. I need the TC2 CPUs. There's my boot drive. I now need to add three additional hard disks. So I'll show adding the first one. Now, if you remember, we had three disks. The first was 400 GB. That was for my primary pool. Now, remember the setting we should always go with is thick provisioned Eager Zero. I'm going to use thin provisioning. As I said, this is a lab. I don't have the space. But in a production environment, that should definitely not be an excuse. I'm now going to add two more disks. All right, so I've now got my three disks, 400 GB. I've used 100 GB for the snapshot pool and 1024 GB for my dedupe pool. Now, as I, as I said repeatedly, make sure they're thick provisioned Eager Zero. Having added the three disks and modified my CPU and RAM to suit the size of the dedupe pool I want, I can now power on my VM. Now, once I've powered on my VM, you could start pinging it if you'd like, wait for it to start responding. Probably about 20 to 30 seconds after that, you should be able to open your web browser. So let's do that right now. So I've, uh, I've now opened up the uh, installer page by pointing my web browser, that's HTTP, not HTTPS, to the IP address I set. Uh, this will be the only time you use HTTP, from then on it will always be HTTPS. Now the appliance IP address should be pre-populated. Uh, pre Obviously I need to give my Sky a name, don't leave it as local DOM, that's rather boring. Set the DNS to what it should be, obviously if the subnet maskable gateway is not what it should be. Set an NTP preferably, always use NTP. Uh, change the infrastructure to the correct one, which in, is VMware in this example, and obviously change the time zone to the correct city to reflect where you're at. Now, in this example, I am I have chosen to use a five terabyte DDoP pool. This is significant because the eval license allows a five terabyte DDoP pool with no encryption of the disks for 30 days. Now, I can then get it licensed 30 days after I've done the install. If you need a larger or a smaller DDoP pool, or you need encryption, stop now. Grab the UUID, this number here, supply it to your Actifio representative and get a license key to plug in here. Do not proceed. In this case, I'm okay to proceed because I don't want encryption and I only want the five terabyte DDoP pool. Plug in your admin password, which you'll use to log into the Actifio desktop and hit next. At this point, we add the disks to the pools. Now, if you forgot to edit the VM and add disks, don't panic. If this is blank, Go back to VMware, to uh, your vCenter, add the three disks, and then use this refresh icon, this very small little guy here, uh, and the disks will appear. So in this case, I uh, pre-did it, so I'm, I'm good to go. I add the three disks, 400 for my primary, 1024 for my dedupe, and I put 100 into the snapshot, and I'm going to hit validate. Now, what could make my validate fail? Probably three things. The first is that I don't have the right CPU, I don't have the right memory, I chose the wrong infrastructure 
or I didn't add the correct size discs. In this case, clearly I've done all three. I can now hit complete installation. The Sky will go through an initialization phase. It will reboot once and then it will be ready for business. All right, that's the Sky installation inside VMware. Hope this has been useful. Thank you for listening.